So there were a couple of moments in the first night of the first Democratic Party debate of 2020 that really stood out. And one moment that I want to talk about is the moment where Julian Castro butted heads with Beto O'Rourke over an immigration policy that Beto refuses to support. Because Beto, he speaks Spanish, he purports to be an ally. However, as you're going to see here, Julian Castro is going to call him out on his bullshit. Some of us on this stage have called to end that section, to terminate it. Some, like Congressman O'Rourke, have not. And I want to challenge all of the candidates to do that. I I just think it's a mistake, Bethel. I think it's a mistake. And I think that that if you truly want to change the system, then we got to repeal that section. If not, then it might as well be the same policy. Let me me respond to this very briefly. Actually, as a member of Congress, I helped to introduce legislation that would ensure that we don't criminalize those who are seeking asylum and refuge in this country. If you're fleeing fleeing desperation, then I want to make sure you're treated with respect. I'm still talking about everybody else. But you're looking at just one small part of this. I'm talking about a comprehensive rewrite of our immigration that's laws. Not true. And if we do that, I don't think not, it's asking that's too actually much not for true. people I'm to follow about, our laws I'm when they come I'm talking about millions country. of folks. A lot of folks that are coming are not seeking asylum. A lot of them are undocumented immigrants, right? And you said recently that the reason you didn't want to repeal Section 1325 was because uh, you were concerned about human trafficking and, and drug trafficking. But let me tell you what. Section 18, uh, Title 18 of the U.S. Code, Title 21, and Title 22 already cover if human trafficking. Drug a known smuggler I think or that you should do your homework we're going on to this make issue. Sure that they are if you did your homework on this issue, you would know that we should repeal this section. Like this is an issue. Now, here's why that mattered. If you're Beto O'Rourke and you're trying to convince us that you have human empathy and you're a compassionate person and these immigrants should be treated as human beings, then the fact that you're not supporting the repeal of 1325 is unforgivable. It shows that you are full of shit. Elizabeth Warren supports it. Um, I believe Bernie supports it as well, but here's why what Julian Castro did there was important. Let me tell you about 1325. As Dara Lind of Vox explains, it's the section of Title VIII of the United States Code that makes it a misdemeanor for immigrants to enter the United States without papers. Castro wants to get rid of it, so that being an unauthorized immigrant in the United States would still be a civil offense, but no longer a federal crime, and he's pushing the rest of the Democratic field to join him. Elizabeth Warren already has endorsed the repeal of the illegal entry provision. Even moderate Tim Ryan implied he'd be open to the repeal during Wednesday's debate. Beto O'Rourke, who has an aggressive immigration plan of his own, was the only candidate who refused in a Democratic primary that has shown the party has shifted leftward on several issues since the Obama administration, this exchange was still remarkable. In fiscal year 2016, immigration offenses, illegal entry, and re-entry, chief among them, made up a majority of federal criminal prosecutions in 2019. As a result of Castro's hectoring on the debate stage, the Democratic presidential field debated for several minutes whether it should be a crime at all. So this is important because even if I have a lot of disagreements with Julian Castro, I think overall he is not very left-wing when it comes to economic issues, or at least he hasn't proven that he genuinely supports policies like Medicare for All, even if he claims he does. I think that what he's doing here is important because he's still shifting the Overton window to the left on this issue of immigration. And we need to do that because the Overton window when it comes to immigration in this country has shifted so far to the right that people were willing to elect someone who was openly supporting fascistic policies in 2016. That's a sign that as a country, we've got to do better, we've got to course correct. And Julian Castro here, even if I don't support him overall, even if I disagree with him on a lot, he's doing a service to everyone. And by calling Beto on his bullshit, he's certainly doing something that I think a lot of people who um, (laughs) support anyone else can... uh, get behind. So I wanted to highlight that because this was a good learning experience. My one criticism with Castro is that he should have explained this maybe a little bit more thoroughly, but when you don't have much time, so long as you get that number out there, you give people the chance to Google it and learn about 1325 and why we should repeal it. So overall, this was a great moment and I really wanted to share this with you because I think it's important. Mike is a total loser, so don't hit the subscribe button, okay? And whatever you do, folks, do not hit the notification bell either. Mike treats me so unfairly.